Now this is the sword power up. It's got this actually they did put a lot of thought into this. Right, you've got the sanded, you can fly with it, but most like you've got a jump slash, which isn't too bad. This this is why I'm they fire things again. Yeah. Right. First of all they were blue, now they're red. Now I, and, it, and it makes no difference to the power unlike dra on Dragon's Curse where the colour um like showing the power of them and how strong they would have to be. Which the review will be coming up very soon. Right, yeah, that was just the preliminary review. We will do the full one. Yeah, we were meaning to do it today, actually, but one oh. thing led to another and... Kirby was born. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, right, some of these things are ridiculous. Right, and certain parts, to try to think about the physics, but... Ah, 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 ah. Certain things like that's just ridiculous. Some power-ups can oh. actually be used for the worst, which you don't really want to get. There's actually a sleep power-up, which uh, it puts you to sleep while you're walking around. And it, what it does is, essentially, it's like death. Well, those spikes don't look friendly. Yeah, it's difficult it's to navigate around them. them. Yeah, it's difficult to navigate around them, and that's basically, that's a death. You just pop. Show them the pause screen. Right. Pause screen. It's interesting because that's your normal, that's like normal Kirby, but then it changes it from Parasol Kirby. Mm -hmm. You can also exit stage and continue, which really isn't that bad. The Parasol Kirby, which if is useful for the spikes. If Harry did this before, then he would have figured out that, yeah, we could have done this, it would be much safer and easier. I hate it when games go like this and they're really in slow. Yeah. But I guess it's just a one-time thing, isn't it? Oh. Uh, there's quite a few places like that. But is that annoying button push again? I don't think we should put it at the end of every mission. Again, I reached the top because I'm just playing good. <laughs> but the alien get it last time as well. Aren't yeah, it? it's like that's actually an upgrade for Kirby. Yeah. It's called the UFO upgrade. You can only get it on the late levels though. Mm. I'll see what's in the museum this time. Oh, this is an interesting upgrade. This is one of my favourites. Tornado upgrade. It's really la, quite la, cool. La, la, la. <laughs> it's like he's dancing, but... Like a pansy. <laughs> pansy. Pansy that could probably kill almost anything. I, I, I'm going to show you something. It's Billy Elliot, but a little ball. And quite pink. And not yeah. gay. <laughs> yeah, actually, I've got some doubts about Kirby. Yeah. You were gay once, weren't you? I was not. Yes, you were. <laughs> oh, oh, was that just, just I like that. <laughs> shut, yeah. shut up, seriously, shut up. You had one of those turns, didn't you? Okay, anyway, back to the review in the game. Right. Back to the review in the game. Is it Santa Claus? Cause no, this is King DDD. His, like, characters I never, I, I never got it at all. I'm pretty sure it's Santa. Do you know the it's only about two quid that was an annoying little brother. Yes, yeah, sorry, my my apologies. Right, like, this is just basic last boss. This tornado upgrade's good, but it's hard to control because you always go flying up in the air. It's useful against them, I have to say. He doesn't... the character, he doesn't look anything like anything. anything. I think he might... Uh, I think he's meant to be a penguin of some sort, but if they actually got the penguins... Ah, crap! Jesus, is he a Kirby or not? Essentially, he's like a big Kirby. What the hell? It's like, hey, that's mine, and then he just eats you. It's like, fuck you. Alright, this is the last, this is the third last boss. And it's rather an interesting one because... Do you actually kill him here or...? Uh, yes. It's because the next boss is called the Nightmare. Mm -hmm. It's rather difficult, but you got to use the Star Lord, but you need to complete this to do it. Well, here's an interesting thing, right? You just need to stand right out of his way, like just a tad, and he can't, um, he can't hit you. But I'm going to quickly kill myself. But um, I want to show you. Tune. I want to show you this because this is interesting. Um, it's it, it's levels taken from the old Game Boy game of it and put into the NES version. Level six, black and white. Yeah, it's like the old Game Boy version of it, which I this is what that's what I originally played. And it was an excellent game. It's got it's got the best tune. Just listen. Okay. 
down the coach. It coach is food. really catchy. I, 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 is there any, any power-ups in this? Uh, in the old one there wasn't, but they put it so you can't access power-ups in this old gameplay. Which, is, it's interesting, but it's strange if you've played the old game. Mm -hmm. Still an excellent game. Is this the... How many stages is it? There, there's like basically all of them. And uh, oh, they need to fight mini bosses at certain parts, so it's really quite good. Mm. And like, this is the second stage from the Game Boy version. Is, is that blob cleaning up? Yes. There's still the character designs on the Game Boy version were no, were no better. <laughs> yeah, you'd think they could have improved it for the last game, but. What the hell? Right, those you know, can't you kill them. Oh, no, no. You have to throw something at it. No, you just can't kill them. Oh, this is fun. Maximum tomorrow. Fully heals you, but it's fine just getting this because I'm not going to die. Yeah. But, um, how was that fun? What, the maximum tomorrow? No, you said, you, you, you said this was fun, but it, it just gives you health. It, it doesn't really... Can you get power-ups or not? Yes. Just, there's no enemies that will give us them. Yeah. See, I guess, I guess that's a bad point. Oh, crap. Makes the game... This game part pretty hard actually. Yeah, it makes it a lot better though. It makes it interesting. They said like this is it's really quite innovative this game. It's brilliantly done as well. Yeah. Um see maximum tomorrow fully heals you. And you'll notice if you've played any of the Smash Brothers that they're in them as well. Yeah. Same from Kirby. The, the Maximum Tomorrow originally, you see these are back the game, you still can't do it on the Game Boy version. They're, re they're still really annoying. You meant to absorb them or not? No, you do, the blow up on you. The blow up on you anyway, so... Yeah. Better than inside of you, I guess. Yeah. This is like, it, 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 it's brilliant, this game. Yeah, I can't stress this enough, if you're going to get anything on the VC, get this. I, I love this game, but there's still as many flaws. The graphics, they're not brilliant for NES. There's a lot better NES games out there. So I, I like to say Metroid's a brilliant game. And that's got better graphics than this. Oh, I can make, I can... Oh yeah, and check out um, someone called Metroid 239 videos. We know that guy and he's, he's pretty good at reviewing. Yeah, he's got decent stuff, is he? And then you end up with this game. And I forgot to press A again. <laughs> you can get quite repetitive, really, the yeah. game. But, well, all in all, that's our Kirby review. Yep, hope you've enjoyed. Yeah, well, it's an interesting game, but there's a lot of fuck, sh fuck awful ones that we're going to review as well, so. <laughs> Keep an eye out. Subscribe yeah. if you need to. Yeah, please subscribe. We need more subscribers, but, well, I hope you enjoy this as much as we've made it, and. Just one last thing from Kirby. Didn't do anything. <laughs> See you later. Hello and welcome to Ted and Harry's Game Reviews again. Right. So I'm here, and so is he. And this is the title of this. Oh my god, you Damn it! <laughs>